today to experience these beautiful mysterious apex predators out here in the ocean so I need to make sure I'm careful hey everybody I'm gonna tell riff I'm here with Chris Gillette in the Atlantic Ocean and we're over some of my favorite species of shark the sandbar shark now I'm gonna try to get real real close wish me luck We are not using a cage, we are not using scuba gear. I'm going down on one breath at a time to be face to face with these top predators of the ocean. Sandbar sharks are real traveler types. They don't like to sit around in one spot for too long. They're constantly on the move. And they're what we call pelagic which is kind of like the ocean version of a nomadic creature on land. So they're constantly looking for the next opportunity to feed. So when we have a feeding frenzy with not a lot of bigger sharks that will bully around the sandbar sharks, they're gonna come in close. You'll see them even, boom, knock against the camera because they're wondering, they're feeling around, what can I eat? But you notice they're not openly attacking me. So watch for my hands being close to my chest and me trying to keep eye contact with these predators because if I'm looking away, they know it and that's when they come in. Oh, looks like I'm gonna have to be more careful. We've got some silky and dusky sharks interested in all the commotion. God, look how beautiful. Oh my God, that was epic. We had such an awesome time. Chris, um, thank you so much for having my back out there. Of filming. course, bro. Dude, that was, that was incredible. Story. It was an exciting dive, that's for sure. Sandbars are some of my most favorite sharks because they're so beautiful. They got those big weird fins and they're bright colored. You know, they almost look white when you see them from above the water. And they're small, you know, they're cute. But when they come in, they're like nasty. They just come in. You know, they're all up in your face. They're not evil, of course, no shark is. I like to say they're frisky. Because, <laughs> yeah. uh, I mean, they come in, you know, they're curious. Uh, again, they're not mean, they're not like evil or out to get you or anything, but it is an apex predator, no doubt about it. And yeah, that was a very successful and thrilling and fulfilling day. Thanks, Chris. Yeah, dude. Anytime. Awesome time. Hey, he just dropped a big piece of bait. I just got tail whipped. Let's get up. A shark can detect a beating heart of an animal from over 300 feet away because they have thousands of little electroreceptors across their face called the ampullae of Lorenzini, detecting the amps that your heart emits when it beats and pumps. Look at those cute little remora fish that are hanging around under the bellies of those sharks. They actually remove parasites from the shark and the shark will keep them protected. Bang! Goes right through the camera lens. Chris, you're my brother. very large animal loving family these beautiful animals that you just saw during this video over a hundred million of them get killed by us each year whether it's in safety beach nets that keep beachgoers safe when they're swimming in the shallow waters or trolling nets that drag across the bottom of the ocean and kill thousands of sharks and dolphins with each catch or shark fin soup 
or they chop off all the fins of sharks and leave them to drown and they have no way of swimming and moving water through their gills. And it's a very wasteful practice. So please, please understand where your food comes from and select wisely because these animals deserve our care and protection. Now let's be conscious of where our fish comes from. My name is Reptile Riff. Thanks for watching. Let's save this world together, one species at a time.